Hey, og velkommen tilbage til Kickback Garage. Now, in today's little episode, we are continuing on the TV 175 build, and uh, yeah, we'll roll the intro, and I'll do all the jabbering afterwards. So, get that scooter going. Right, in this video, I am going to crack on with the uh, TV build, as I said. I'm going to fit cables and the wiring loom. And at the end of the video, uh, just to make this uh, a little bit more interesting than an old fat bloke uh, putting cables on his scooter, I'm going to do a little bit of a little bit of a review. I got it that time, didn't I? I got it. Uh, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to take the wiring loom and uh, just place that where I want it on the frame. And I'll use this industrial Lambretta strength uh, tape. It's just uh, blue masking tape, just to hold the wiring loom into place. Then I put the cables on, and uh, yeah, and you'll see what I do as I go along. Okay, so uh, I'll put this first, and uh, I'll come back to you when that's done, and we'll fit the cables. Yes. Right, I've, I've threaded up uh, on the left hand side of the uh, the headset here, and you've got this little tab washer on uh, on series uh, threes. So you haven't got that on series twos. And I've got it in front of the uh, the bracket there. So uh, I'll just uh, bend that tab down just to hold this in place slightly. And then I'm just going to follow the frame with the wiring loom. Now, that's uh, pretty simple. That's got to be to the uh, horn. So I follow the frame down here. You've got the two to the horn. The thing is with this is when you start laying it out, you understand what uh, what goes where. So I'm going to try and find the end of my tape here. Now remember, this is industrial uh, Lambretta tape, so obviously quite hard to uh, find the end on that one. It's been on for it. I'll just put a bit of tape on here, just to hold it in place. I like to do this uh, first uh, because um, I like to do it this way because then when the cables come I can uh, move the uh, harness around a little bit so I do that before I fit the cables and then after I fit the cables uh, we can start plugging stuff in and obviously like masking tape is really really easy to uh, to remove now Really, on the Series 3s, the brake pedal will be sitting here on the, on the uh, switch. I think Series 3s, the wiring loom is supposed to go a little bit further, and this is supposed to make a V-form. But because I'm a Series 2 man, <laughs> we normally hook it over like this on the Series 2 and into the brake switch. So, But uh, we'll sort that out in the next uh, video when I start plugging this together. just want to put this on, fit that there. Like so. La 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 la. I'm so used to working on my knees that I forget that I've got to lift the up and down bench. So I lifted it up a little bit there, and then we uh, carry on fitting this. Now, what is that for? A battery, maybe? Yeah. Shame we're not fitting a battery on this one, but uh, there you go. We've got the uh, opportunity to do so if we want to go DC at one time. Right. right, so put that there. Just out the way. You know what they say, out of mind? Oh, can you see? There you go. <laughs> so I just tucked it over the uh, mug guard there, just to put it in place so it's... Uh, yeah, around about where I want it, and I'll sort that out uh, in the next episode when we're going to mess around with uh, the wiring, which is everybody's favourite job, isn't it? Right, normally the first uh, cable I fit is the Speedo cable, and I've been faffing around here for about 20 minutes, and just realised that we haven't got the correct cable. It was the cable that came with the scooter, so that is also something I'm going to have to order, and... Uh, fit in the next video hopefully um one thing to watch with the uh, speedo cables is if you've got an early series three like this one 
then they actually use the uh, Series 1, Series 2 uh, type speedo cable. And the speedo cable I had, the attachment in the end wasn't even wasn't even a match, so it's probably sort of something completely, completely different. Right. Uh, first off, I think I'm going to fit the uh, front brake. Right, I'm using more time trying to uh, adjust the camera angle than uh, anything else, to tell you the truth. Uh, now, where did I put that cable? Right, yeah. So, the cable, we want the front brake cable here, we want that to uh, root round here, down that hole there, to give the least moolie, least moolie, good English, Rob, the least, po the less possible bend that you can. You've got to try and curve this as much as possible. The clutch cable goes on the back side of the, uh, the front brake there, but I'm going to try and fit this first all the same. What I used to do in the olden days, I used to uh, take the inner cable and uh, put loads and loads of grease on it, but these nylon cables don't really require it, so uh, the last couple of builds I've done, I haven't uh, greased these, and it's been fine. So I'll uh, pop this rabbit down the hole, pass it through there. Right, let's have a go, there you go. So fit that there it up a bit. I want to try and get as a really nice even bend on this. Maybe even a bit more of a bend. Let's see how much how much room I've got will dictate will the, the headset will dictate that. Got these Screws, fixing screws, pivot pins, or whatever you want to call them. These are <laughs> these are for MB. So shoot me again, please. And on this area here, I also use this uh, high-pressure marine uh, grease. Uh, anywhere that water can get, really, I like to use this because it's, it's really sticky and it stays put. Grease up this, and I put a little bit of blob. You see that little hole there? Put a little blob there. I'll show you why in a second. And the reason for the blob of grease there is I just put some on this spring. This is the anti rattle spring and cap. Let me fit the spring first. It sits there. And then you've got the anti-rattle cap. Quite strong actually. So this, this can ping all over the place. Good job I bought a few of these. Alright, like that. Hook it on here. through. This is a bit tricky. I'm holding the back side of the anti-rattle. That's better. Hallelujah. Pivot pin doesn't fit through the brake because there's some uh, chrome or something on the inside of the hole there. So I'm going to have to drill those out. So let's have a look. Pivot pin is seven mil. So I'm gonna have to take this off again. So much fun today. Trying my best not to lose the uh, anti-rattle spring and cup. There's some chrome or something on the inside of the pivot hole here. So I'm gonna have to chase that with the uh, seed mill drill. I never actually had to do that before, but uh, there you go. That's life. Now then. That's nice and loose. Moment of truth. Pivot bolt. Ah, oh, 
that was so much so much hassle for such a small detail There's some resistance there, but that's just the uh, anti-rattle spring, so that's that's good. Then we've got the gear cables. Uh, remove the inners, obviously. And if you're really lucky, uh, these nipples should just sit by themselves. The throttle cable uh, doesn't want to sit in there quite as good. So just take a little piece of uh, insulation tape and just wrap it around the end there. Right, so I fit the inners on the uh, gear wire here and I'm going to show you how to uh, attach the gear wires to the mechanism. Uh, as you see, that's the, the reason why I use this uh, Lambretta grid masking tape is that if I need to adjust uh, the position of the wires I can just rip it a bit and then uh, move it up and down so that's good so now these are a little bit slack but I, I'll adjust this as soon as uh, I've uh, fitted the inner cables and as you see the, the four meet up here and if you are using the clamp that was originally used for uh, fitting the bleed nipples then uh, this is about the position I normally fit it and the reason for that is uh, means you can get to it if you need to adjust anything or change your outers but uh, we haven't got one of those <laughs> I forgot to buy that uh, also when I um, put the cables uh, permanently into, into place I actually just use uh, black cable ties uh, the reason for that is that if we need to change an outer at a later date then you can just jump under the scooter and, and cut it off and then you can thread another uh, <clears throat> zip tie around the frame to secure the uh, cables again and the other one is I don't fit zip ties or cable ties uh, on the head tube part of the frame uh, that's simply because when you've got a brand new build then normally you have to uh, adjust your um, your bearings because when they settle down you start to get a little bit of a slack feeling on those so it just makes it a lot easier to lift up the headset so that you can adjust the uh, the bearings so it's not completely how Innocente would have done it but uh, if you want to find out how Innocente did it I think you should really just uh, pick up the phone and uh, talk to him and as you can see here this is the throttle cable and that splits off from the other four through this uh, rubber holder which will, will be firmly put into place with a metal uh, strip and that goes to the carb. The funny thing is uh, even if you're a big carb man or a scene stealer as uh, Dave would say then I tend to thread the uh, carb cable that side anyway because uh, when you fit in a larger carb, you need a, the longer type um, throttle cable, and I seem to get a, like sort of a better bend if I put it that if I thread it through on the original side and then over to the wrong side. But obviously on this one, we've got the carb on the opposite side, so that's good. Right. So this is the interesting bit. Uh, I route the clutch cable over the engine bar. I think originally, originally they go under the engine bar there. But because I use the MB adjuster block, this is really handy by the way, because this, this uh, moves the clutch cable away from the gear cables, which makes them a lot easier to get to to adjust. Uh, and I think he's designed it like that, if I'm not 100% wrong, uh, so that you can route it over there. The handy thing about routing them over the top there is that when you route them underneath the uh, bar, then they can play havoc with the plug cap. 
and they tend to rub on there and if you use rubber caps which is yeah, advisable then uh, you can actually rub through those so that's uh, one to one to watch so now we need to determine which wire to fasten to which side on uh, the gear here now the rule is front to back back to front so that means the wire that is on uh, the front of the uh, gear change wheel in your headset that one goes to the rear adjuster and the one at the back of the uh, wheel goes to the front of the engine so if you're sitting on the scooter the one that's closest to you that one goes uh, here so front to back back to front before I fasten these I like to get hold of the wire and I'm going to see if I've <laughs> not got a lot of room here because the camera is in the way but I like to uh, move the adjuster I like to t hold them tight move the adjuster just so that I know that the cables are nice and tight in the outer in the outers there and now I can uh, feel so the front cable if I pull the uh, the gear handle up then I'll be pulling the front cable in and that is this one so front to back back to front what that means is this is the front one and it goes to the back so obviously it's going to be easy to fit this one first so just uh, bend that out of the way thread it in the adjuster like that it's handy to uh, have your adjusters about halfway house because that gives you uh, that gives you plenty of adjustment for an aft because you can actually get these a bit too tight anyway so this is the one that goes to the back of the wheel and we'll move it to the front There you go, that's the cables in place. So when you are going to tighten the, uh, the cables down, the inner cables onto the gear changer, then the best way to do it is uh, put your gear in, uh, make sure that you've got neutral. And then I get my lovely assistant, I'm gonna get my wife uh, in a minute, and I get her to move the handlebar so that it uh, is positioned on neutral on the handlebar and then we fit the trunnions and tighten them down now this can be a little bit of a pain and it's always helpful if you've got a, a beautiful helper like I have uh, but what I've been using in the past is these uh, these are the original type spec trunnions and the annoying thing about these is that they use a 7 millimeter hex and uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I can never find that hex. There's, there's loads of tricks and stuff like that to try and uh, put, put it somewhere that you remember where to have it. So uh, yeah, whatever. But I don't use those anymore. I went over to, moved over to the uh, MB type and he uses, uh, I think it's a six millimeter hex, which is more normal. <laughs> so you've got those lying around, so it's easy to adjust. But then we ha we got a new contender because what you find is when you're trying to when you're trying to fit these, uh, if you imagine this is the other side, you've got to thread it through the hole, uh, through the trunnion, and and try and get it all lined up there. The problem with these is when you fit them. This is from uh, these don't even fit. <laughs> oh yeah, they do. Uh, the problem is when the when you're trying to fit them. They, this one's quite stiff, so you'll be okay. <laughs> it's a bad thing to uh, show, uh, show you my point, but they tend to drop straight through. And then you have a difficult time trying to line them up, trying to get the hole to line up so that you can thread the cable. But the trunnion I'm going to fit on this build, I've actually bought a whole bunch of these and I think I'll be swapping out uh, next time I change the cables on the other two scooters as well, is from that uh, fantastic 
Vesper shop. Sip. Would you believe it? Sip. Anyway, uh, Sip, I've made this uh, great little trunnion. Uh, and what's great about this is that you can see it's got some flats on, on the top here. And those flats, they line up with the hole. So when you put them in the uh, adjuster here, you can actually uh, know where the hole is. So that it makes it a lot, lot easier to thread in the wire. And especially on the one at the back there, because you've got no... No chance of uh, seeing that in there. Yeah, you've got to have X-ray vision or something to be able to line up that one. So that is, uh, that's a really, really good product. And another handy thing is that on the SIP one, it is a four millimeter hex key, which is also a normal size, which you'll get in normal uh, Allen key uh, sets. And incidentally, the flats there, they fit a 10 millimeter spanner. And a 10 millimeter spanner is something we've always got in our toolkit. So that's uh, really handy uh, for if you're gonna need to change cables uh, along the road. So let's give this a go, see how it works. So we pop that in there and we can line it up. Now we know where the hole is. We just make the flats point towards the wire. And I'll just pull this out and see how easy it is to uh, thread it in the hole. Well, first, <laughs> first you have to put the little copper washer so that the uh, cables don't crease in there. And we aim for the hole, which is quite easy. We know where that is. Yeah, there you go. Easy peasy. She's in. And then fit the little grub screw. I'm not going to tighten this down just yet. I'm going to leave that slack. There we go. And I'll uh, do the same on the other one. And then I can offer up the tie bar. There you go. So this is the one that's normally really difficult because it drops down to below the tie bar and you can't actually hit the area where the hole is in the trunnion. So let's take this out, give it a bit of slack and I actually think I'm going to do the spanner trick there just to hold it into place. Thread it through, very easy to thread through. Under the silent block there, around the bend. Put the cable in the end there. Yeah, so that's also, uh, that was really easy to find. It, it, it can be a bit of a jiggle to get that in. So that definitely, definitely, uh, makes this job a lot easier and uh, fit the grub screw. I'm sorry, but I'm really gonna have to reach in front of the camera on this one Brilliant, so I'm just gonna find my uh, lovely assistant who's sitting in front of the TV eating popcorn I think and uh, We'll uh, I'll show you how I tighten these down Right, so I've got my beautiful wife uh, on the controls and then she's just gonna uh, move the gear shifter on the handlebar up and down a bit there please love like that yeah i'm just taking out the slack out of the wires and back again yeah just keep doing that a few times we're just going to get the wires a good tension there we go and if you find if you can put uh, the zero on the arrow so it's stood there is that is that right perfect and then i can let go of those I handily hold the trunnion with the uh, 10 millimeter and I can just tighten them down there if you just keep just hold it so that I don't don't move the wire she's doing a smashing job I'm trying to keep her out of shot she just stood in her underwear so I have to be a bit discreet 
<laughs> right, okay, so that's down, and then I'm going to tighten this one. can go back to her popcorn and uh, Emmerdale Farm or whatever it is she's uh, watching on the TV there. Summer murder. Oh yeah, Midsummer Murder, sorry. Yeah. Right, so I tighten those down good and proper, like that. What's it look like the arrow there? Perfect. That's it, and then I can say goodbye to my beautiful assistant. Thank you, love, you're so kind. So you can see, <laughs> this is definitely not what I'm used to. Series 3 has this strut in the way. It's a little bit easier to get to on the Series 2. So I just hold that and clip down that lock nut. Like so. And the arrow was perfectly lined up with the zero on the handlebar gear changer. So that is uh, perfect. So this is how I determine how to uh, fit the clutch wire, or where to fit the clutch wire. I Obviously, uh, the same with the gears, I put the uh, adjuster, um, so it's about halfway, so you've got movement both ways, which is pretty important. I take this wire here, I use my trusty 19mm and I turn it until it just about, I can feel it's engaging here and basically if I hold that, ugh, you're a little bugger <laughs> Not easy is it? That. I just put a little white dot there and that's uh, where I want the centre of the trunnion. Oh, that's handy, I can actually see the mark <laughs> through the trunnion. Fit the grub screw. Uh, like that. Tighten that down. Then I use my trusty 19mm and I open it up and I slide her in. And there she is. Job done. Now the object of the game here really is you don't want the angle being more than 90 degrees when the clutch is fully compressed. But uh, I thought I'd do a video uh, in the near future where I show you how to adjust uh, this, how to tell if your uh, clutch is too tight or too slack. So I'm not going to do anything with the adjuster on that and I'll just leave it at that. And then I normally cut the wire here and I solder the end. I uh, see a lot of people do the old curly whirly bit, which uh, works as well, I suppose. But I, I think it's a lot neater. I, I cut them about here and then I just uh, solder the end which is easily easily done enough, easily enough done. Right, what else are we gonna do? I was gonna fit the rear brake, but I can't find uh, the frame trunnion to fit the cable. So that's another thing we need to uh, order. And so that's the uh, clutch wire in place as well, lovely. Right, I'm now in the uh, position where I can uh, take away this uh, uh, masking tape and I can secure the uh, 
wiring loom and the cables uh, correctly uh, now that I've uh, uh, fit them in the back there and I also found I was looking for some bits I'm making a list of bits <laughs> that I'm missing obviously I'm missing the uh, front speedo cable so that's something I need I also need the top hat where the um, brake wire uh, threads through and uh, sits in the frame so that's missing so I need one of those I think I'll probably get one of those locally from one of the lads uh, what else do I need I need uh, yeah and some some screws bits and bobs for the for the handlebar there but otherwise I can still uh, crack on with this and another good thing is I found this and this is actually the original uh, clip that I'll be fitting here to hold the cables and when I when I fit this I like to fit it so they can get to it under the mud guard so if I need to adjust the steering bearings like I said then uh, I can loosen that off and I can uh, lift up the headset top in a future date so that's something I'm going to do off camera and the next video I reckon uh, we're going to be doing the old uh, Oh, wiring and that the spaghetti nightmare that uh, nobody really likes and I'm not too keen on it either tell you the truth it doesn't really I don't find it difficult but I, I just find it so tedious and that, that might be a tedious uh, film so maybe I just like fit it and show you the connectors uh, I'm waiting for a bracket now sip make a bracket now for the vip 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 <laughs> ignition so that's really, really cool. So uh, I ordered that. So that should be coming this week. So that's uh, another thing I can uh, fit on the scooter. And we're getting really close. Not a long time until we can fire this baby up, I reckon. A couple of weeks, maybe. Ooh, I could crush a grip. Anyway, uh, I'd like to say thanks a lot for all the support. And thanks a lot for uh, uh, following me and subscribing. And uh, I love the comments. I try and answer as many as I can. I get so many comments now, actually, that I miss a few. So um, if I miss you, I don't do it on purpose, but I do try and sit down in the evenings in front of the telly when I'm not in here or at work and uh, try and answer your uh, questions. So uh, don't forget, do the old uh, t-shirt buying. Uh, you've stopped buying t-shirts. Why have you done that? Why have you stopped buying t-shirts? Anyway, because what happens is um, I use the money from the t-shirts for uh, equipment around the garage. Like uh, today... My lovely wife, she bought me, uh, uh, what's it called? A thingamajig to hold my light. So now I've got really good light when I'm filming action shots actually on the scooter there. So that's going to be really cool. I'm really pleased with that. It's very bright and probably gives me a shiny head. But anyway, and I've cut my hair. The barbers are open over in Norway. So <laughs> yeah, that's uh, what you get for uh, not having the old lockdown uh, as early as we did we've actually started opening up things which is uh, really cool so i love you and leave you people and i have to i can't say fellas anymore because uh five percent of my uh subscribers are actually ladies Ooh. and uh, i don't think so i don't think so what i reckon it is is that uh the old bloke can't find his telephone and he uh <laughs> he looks at uh, youtube on his wife's telephone i think that's really the best explanation for it so like i said i love you and leave you and uh, i'll see you in the next video stay safe